Hi, right, this is Zaki Q, and um, I'm here with a video on uh, how to tell if your graphic card is overheating. Now, usually uh, when you're when you're using your graphic card, right, and uh, if, it, if it does overheat, there's about a few symptoms which you can watch out for. Um, one of them is a like a checkered uh, or uh, texture distortion, which indicates that the core is just cooking. Which, which in that case, you should actually turn off your video card. And if you were overclocking it, you should uh, uh, set it back to its default settings. Now, another way to do it is to see if your video card really is uh, overheating. Is when uh, when the GPU is too hot, it tends to cook the capacitors on these guys here. Right, and um, well, in this case for this uh, 7,800, I thought the capacitor was blue, so I changed them, but uh, there's nothing wrong with it. So I turned it over on the back, and I tried to find uh, some browning effect, which you can't see on this guy. So you really couldn't tell the card is overheating. Okay. So uh, I wanted to show you what it looked like on the uh, LCD when a uh, when a card overheated, but uh, this piece of shit from uh, well, can't really say that, but uh, the 7800 Nvidia right refused to uh, well, refused to misbehave today. So today it behaved pretty well, uh, but you know some days it doesn't, and you get you get those uh, checkers, those checker designs on the on the green and, and, uh, and all that so ah well today doesn't show that so oh, what to do anyway just a basic thing about uh, overheating now the G GPU or most most graphic cards right they really can take a lot of heat uh, like the ATI 4000 series can go up to uh, 100 degrees Celsius uh, I'm not sure about the 7000 series and 8000 series and the new and the new whatever series uh, NVIDIA has, but they they pretty have a high thermal resistance to uh, uh, to uh, to, uh, to overheating. That said, all right, that does not mean the other components like the RAM, uh, the MOFETs, resistors, uh, capacitors. No, that said, they do not have such a high resistance to temperature, so. If you have a crappy cooler like uh, like this thing has, as you can see, I just took it off. So look, this is what it looks like. And yeah, the back of it, really nothing much as you can see. That is the cooler for the 7800. Uh, I took off the shroud, so let me just show you. Here's the shroud. Nothing special, plastic. And the fan, which is over here. Oops. Little fan. So anyway, I'm transferring uh, this card to my sister's PC, but I don't want it to overheat, so I've taken off the fan, taken off the shroud, taken off the sh uh, shroud and the fan. I'm gonna put this AMD CPU cooler fan and super glue it on top of the uh, default heatsink, and uh, stick it on a computer. Hopefully, she won't have any problems when she uh, plays Dragon Age. Because right now she's using my uh, X1850 uh, Pro to play Dragon Age, and yeah, it's nice and all, but uh, sorry, I'm not feeling too well today. I got the flu again. Yeah. So those who are here's a tip to those who are coming to Malaysia, Penang, to Penang, Malaysia, uh, stock up on your flu shots and uh, bring along one of the C's because you know, despite the, it being a tropical country, every week there's a new strain of flu going around. So once you get over one, you get another one again. Wonderful, isn't it? And you wonder how we managed to get work done. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to super glue it on and see how, th how it goes. Hopefully the card will not crap out on her. <sighs> Hopefully. And then again, like I said, you can take a look. Exactly. A sure sign of overheating is when the transi transistors, resistors, they all start turning brown. You know, the silver parts start browning out, as you can see. Here, here they are, nice and silvery. And here they are, behind the GPU. Yeah, so once you, when you see this, it's a sure sign that uh, your cooler's not doing a good job and you need to change it. Three, two, one. 
So as you can see, I've uh, glued the AMD uh, CPU uh, fan on. This is the default fan that comes with all AMD CPUs. Um, you know, so my sister should be able to play Dragon Age without any problems when I change it. Uh, hopefully, she will notice I change her graphic card. But uh, yeah, I'm changing a better one for a crappy one. But you know, the reliability of this card is uh, questionable still because a lot of people had problems with it. So I hope this fixes it. What you want to see here is the original fan, and here's the new fan. Now, I see, of course, is, uh, I'm using an AMD uh, CPU cooler fan on top of this NVIDIA card. So, the, I'm sure all the NVIDIA fan works will go bananas. Um, now, any advice I can give you guys, when it, uh, in case you want to know really if your, if your um, graphic card is overheating, is um, first of all, touch the heatsink. If you cannot, maintain contact with the heatsink when the card is playing game for more than five seconds that means it really it, it's really too it's too hot for you to hold contact with it just touching the side of the heatsink like so for five seconds that car, uh, the card is really running hot of course it depends on the card specs like I said just because GP, the GPU can take it doesn't mean the components all around it the RAM all that stuff can take that heat um, another thing to watch out for if you don't want to touch the side of the heatsink is touch the back of the card because like I said at the back of the card if it's too hot you're gonna get these brown see brown silver brown and they start to get too hot and then they'll either uh, burst or desolder themselves yes they can desolder themselves and they lose contact and you get all sorts of wonderful crap um, best thing to do is uh, when you're playing a game you see uh, corrupt textures or you see uh, uh, boxes, funny colored boxes appearing, stop the game immediately, go out buy a third party cooler and replace your yeah, standard cooler and hopefully that solves the problem because there's nothing else you can do then you can if you just want to see if the card is overheating is to declock the card of an over uh, of, uh, overclocking software for the card so you can just uh, uh, Clock it maybe uh, 200 megahertz down from the GPU or 100 megahertz down, and maybe 3 or 400 megahertz down from the RAM, and see see how the card goes. So even that, even and if the, uh, if the over, overclocking software allows it, you can cut down the voltage. But I doubt, seriously doubt that will, uh, most uh, software will support that, or the card will run stably. Uh, um, other than that, just get a thing new cooler. Make sure you get one with uh, that covers the whole, not only the GPU but the RAM. As you can see, mine has uh, this little pick terminal pad, so there's a contact between the RAM and the cooler. Yes, and it's got the uh, heat pipes too on both sides. You can, uh, see the little pad there? Yeah, covered both sides. That's usually the best solution if you can get a a cooler that can cover the Moffets. That would be nice too, but as you can see with this uh, 7800 design, you cannot. There's no cooler that will ever cover these small fats, so what you can do is you can buy some RAM sinks and uh, use uh, thermal tape, uh, double sided thermal tape, stick them on, keep them cool. If they really are, if they really are uh, suffering from overheating problems, which you can only determine, like I said, by touching. If they really are too hot to touch, they are probably cooking themselves slowly. So anyway, I've already stuck in the NVIDIA 7900GS uh, into my computer as a temporary relief. So I take a look at her graphic card because I noticed that during Dragon Age she was lagging quite a bit. Then, uh, lo and behold, I see the capacitor blue, which is uh, not surprising. Usually they blow uh, due to uh, age or heat, and in this case I presume it's heat because it popped open. Well, it could be age, who knows. I've already replaced two of them up here, as you can see, two skin, uh, with, uh, two substitutes, and I'll be replacing this one. In fact, I'll be desoldering all three and replacing them with actually these larger ones. So hopefully she won't have any problems after that, but uh, who will know? Either case, uh, this will be will be interesting to see what happens. As you can see, um, this is her 1950 Pro using a clone uh, Zelman uh, cooler. This is a default cooler of the system. As you can see, no RAM sinks. So, probably, I don't know. There's no 
browning in the back, but then there's a giant plate here, so I can't really tell if there's any browning or not. Uh, could be the reason why the capacitor blew, who knows. Uh, the NVIDIA one's not performing particularly well. I can see that it's uh, it's uh, it's got some uh, refresh issues. When it's refreshing, it changes, uh, it loses a uh, color and changes to green and back again. So I don't know. That could be the case of the CPU or a GPU already being burnt and uh, damaged. Or something else, but something I can't fix. Uh, I can't fix myself. Uh, anyway, I kick you out.